If you need to take time off work to care for a seriously sick child, how do you pay your mortgage and bills? Well, that's what a couple from Hartford are asking the government. Hugh Menai Davis was just six years old when he died from a rare form of cancer in 2021. During his treatment, his family travelled up to 100 miles a day, taking him to hospital so they could be at his bedside. Well, now his parents are calling on the Prime Minister to introduce a furlough-style payment to help other families going through the same struggle, as Stuart Leith reports. Ring the bell. It was a moment of hope when Hugh Menai Davis got to ring the bell as he left the ward at Adambrooks Hospital in Cambridge to mark the end of his cancer treatment in May 2021. He'd been diagnosed with a rare form of cancer in his stomach and had endured months of intensive chemotherapy. And a few weeks later, Hugh was able to celebrate his sixth birthday at home with his family in Hartford. Happy birthday, dear Hugh. Happy birthday to you. Yay! But the cancer returned and he died in September that year. Today his parents Kerry and Francis delivered a petition to Downing Street calling for the creation of Hughes Law, which would offer furlough style payments for parents caring for a sick child in hospital for a prolonged period. They've had to resubmit the petition because of the change of government in July. Research by the Young Lives vs Cancer charity has shown it can cost almost £700 extra each month for parents during their child's cancer treatment. King, you're making me dizzy. <laughs> and Kerry and Francis want Hugh's Law to be his legacy, there to offer financial support to other parents who need to spend time with their child in hospital. Stuart Leith's ITV News. Well, we can speak to Hugh's father, Kerry. Um, Kerry, you've been through so much in the last few years and you're still fighting, I know. Uh, you've handed in your petition, haven't you, again. Um, now, before we hear more about what it is that you would actually like the government to do, could you just tell us, if you don't mind, what it was like to have a child that was suddenly so ill and, and how it affected you? Yeah, it was heart-wrenching, heartbreaking. Your life just presses pause. And um, I just felt so sorry for Hugh at the time because he was just in full swing of life and um, just coming out of COVID, we just spent a long time trapped away and locked away. And uh, yeah, it's just devastating just what happened really. Tell us a little bit too about, about the, the financial implications of having a child that's suddenly so ill. If you have uh, bring a child into the world, it's the happiest time of your life and you can plan it and you know what's coming. Um, you can get employment rights, you can go back to work in the same job um, and you're looked after. But if you have a child that's all of a sudden taken ill and you have no alternatives but to go by their bedside, there's nothing for you. And that's the gap that we're trying to fill with what we've been asking for and what we're working for. You've got so many added costs like transport, staying over next to the hospitals next to your child, eating because there's no food provided for the parents. So many things, but there's no money coming in. And that's the difficulty that we've found with other parents and with ourselves during it. Hugh had to have 16 sessions of radiotherapy um, in a row, and that meant us taking a, a trip every morning 50 miles there and 50 miles back. And you know, that's unfunded by anyone else but yourself. And some parents can't actually afford that. I, I worked it out. On a, on a monthly basis, you, you, it costs over a £1,000 a month, really, to look after your child, um, that we found. You've got the names of other children on your jacket there as well. So many families um, have, have to struggle at this time. So what is it that you would like to see happen? At the moment, there's nothing available for nearly three to six months after your child's diagnosed. And those first three months are critical because you're in hospital with this child. And that's what we're asking the government for. We're asking for a grant. It's around £750 to £1,000 a month based on circumstances. And it's not the, those that are looking for help. It's those that do go to work, those who are employed, those who are self-employed. These parents find themselves in position for no fault of their own that they have no money. And if you are self-employed and you have two or three weeks of employment that you know that's going to be able to pay your mortgage that month. But if that work stops when your life is pressed on pause, there's nothing available for you, so you can't access anything. We just think that should be taken, that these parents should be taken from struggling to just coping, and it's also taking off a, a, a burden off their shoulders when, like we've experienced, sitting next to them, sitting next to your child at hospital, it's probably just the worst thing you could ever imagine. Well, Kerry, I wish you the very best of luck with it all. Thank you for speaking to us today. Thank you.